Hey guys, how are you doing? I have my empties video and my Sephora bag is full. So I decided that I'm going to go ahead and do this video so that I can throw that away. This, I was kind of waiting for this, the IT Cosmetics anti Full Coverage Anti-Aging Concealer in medium, but I still have product in here. I'll probably end up cutting the tube open, or maybe not, because I've had that for a while, for quite a while. So I think that came in my first IT Cosmetics purchase from QVC. So, okay, well, let's get in here. I used up... Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar Hand Soap. I love the smell of warm vanilla sugar. It's one of my favorites. Uh, a Batiste Blonde, Light & Blonde Dry Shampoo. I love this. I get it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. This was TJ Maxx. Just depends on where I am. So whenever I go in, either one of those, I look. And if they have it, I get it. Um... It's a bigger container of it, I think. I don't know. But I love it. I used up uh, one of my Crystal Body Deodorant Roll-On. It's um, aluminum-free. And they use mineral salts. It works really well for me. I don't get any white marks on my clothes, even if um, it isn't dry yet. And I put on, say, a black tank top or something. I don't get any white marks. It works for me. Um, so I've gone through a few of these and I'm, the one that I have in the bathroom now that I'm currently using is almost empty. So I need to get another one next time we go to Whole Foods. I love these vitamins. The, they are the Nature's Way Alive Once Daily Women's 50 Plus Ultra Potency. That means it has no iron in it, uh, because once you become menopausal, you don't want to take iron unless you're anemic and your doctor tells you to. But for most women, if you're not anemic, you don't want to take something with iron in it because you don't have periods anymore and you're not losing a lot of blood. So these are, take one daily. They smell like food and herbs. They do not smell like synthetic vitamins. And I really like that. And, um... Organic mushroom, green food, spirulina blend, flax blend, cranberry blend, cardiovascular blend. So it's all of these plants and fruits that are in here. And I get these at my Smith's grocery store. I like these. So I'm on my another bottle. And I'll continue to use those. Uh, Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes. I love these. I get them at Costco. I've gone through several several um, packages of these, several boxes of them. And this was a 30. And I have another one right here. So I love them. Uh, Rimmel London Just Let It Go Eye Makeup Remover. I know this isn't cruelty free. But it's my favorite eye makeup remover, and uh, what can I say? I love it. <laughs> I have another one. This one's almost empty. And I have another one in line waiting to be cracked open. My Timeless HA Hyaluronic Acid Spray with Matrixel 3000 Cucumber Blend. Love this. This was the first bottle I got. Uh, my current bottle... I've used that much, and I have another backup. This one I placed my last order. I bought two of these. Love it. Love it. Another blonde uh, Batiste dry shampoo. No, I guess it's the same size. So, okay, two of those. This was my first It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. And I debated, there's still some in there that I can see. I debated about cutting the tube open, but I've had this for going on two years, and I decided I'm just going to throw it away, which I will do with the concealer once I can't get any more out of it. 
Uh, Pantene Expert Collection Age Defy Serum. Um, I used this whole bottle and then I got, it was a, this and a free bottle of their shampoo, the Age Defy Shampoo. So I bought that and honestly it's doing nothing. My hair is still just as thin and fine. That's how much I have left of this. I love the smell of it. The shampoo's fine. This is fine. But I personally don't see any difference. Guess what? <laughs> Another Batiste. This is uh, Urban and Edgy Graffiti. I don't shampoo every day. I shampoo every other day. So I use this on the days that I don't shampoo. Okay, how many of these? Okay. Well, this was a big one. This was 4.2 ounces and 3.4. So, yeah, I like this stuff. And even though it's not cruelty-free, I'm going to continue to use it. Um, oh, that fell in there. I used up this timeless 20%. I better check my time. C and E and Ferulic Acid Serum from the Timeless Company. Love timeless products. They're affordable. They're good quality. The only thing is this has vitamin E in it, uh, which probably is a wheat or a soy base. So if you have issues with wheat or soy, you might want to avoid this particular one. I used up a Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Liquid Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 70. That has a little shaker ball. A Pacifica Stellar Gaze Mascara, my favorite mascara, and that's in Supernova. And here's another one. So I have two of those. Uh, this Laneige Lip and Eye Remover <laughs> Waterproof. Um, I got that in my um, Bobcat in a Box when I was doing that. I got this. And it's really nice. I just don't know where to get it. I know that Target has some Laneige, but they don't have this. I liked it a lot. In fact, if it's affordable and available, maybe, I don't know if they're cruelty free though. I don't know. Uh, I used this up a while ago. The Out, CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1 foundation in warm beige. I like this stuff. It has more of a gel cream finish, or uh, it's more of a gel cream. Like it, but... I've decided I'm just going to stick with this. I love it, and it works well. Or the e.l.f. that I showed in a video about favorites um, from the drugstore. Uh, my Pink Truffle Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter Pink Truffle. I finished this one, and I have a couple more. Uh, here is the, let me check, I keep checking the time. Hang on, sorry. Okay, I'm going to restart. I'll be right back. Okay, I got one of the e.l.f. High Def Under Eye Setting Powder, and I really liked it. I went through it pretty fast. Um, I did buy another one, which is sitting in my, I have a, a makeup container over there with makeup case with, um, products to use. So I do have another one, but I've been using instead of that where is it? Because I have this in my stash, the It Cosmetics Airbrush Illuminizer Poreless Finish HD Illuminizer. And I've been using that under my eyes and I've been really pleased with it. Um, I think it looks really nice and natural. And it comes with a little puff, which needs to be cleaned. But I just take that and I just dab it under my eyes to set my concealer. And then I use my Cody Airspun for the rest of my face. But I'm enjoying that. But once that's gone, I'll go and use up my e.l.f. Or if I'm traveling, I'll just take the little e.l.f. one. And then... Oh. Okay, two more things. The Pacifica Eyeliner in Jet. It gets to a certain point where it's hard to sharpen, so I just let this one go and broke out a new one. And my, look at this. This is Compliments of Bruno. 
Um, he got a hold of my tube. There was hardly anything in it. He had no ill effects from it. But he chewed up the tube of my Retin-A. So I have a new one that's still in the box that's waiting to go. I haven't used this in a few nights because my skin was getting so irritated. But, so those are my empties. My current empties. And as you can see, there are several products that I purchase over and over again because I like them, they work for me. And, um, oh, I have another one of these for the summer. I don't need it right now because um, my IT Cosmetics CC Cream has an SPF of 50 and this time of year that's just fine. So I'm going to go and dump all this stuff. So if you guys have any questions, leave them below. And um, yeah, I'll just talk to you guys in my next video. And if you want to know, I'm wearing Cherries in the Snow lipstick from Revlon. Love it. It's not cruelty free, but it's one that I've worn since the 80s off and on. So, okay guys, have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you later. Bye!